Hello, this is kind of a different setup. I have like a, a crazy monitor and my camera and then a mic here. So if this video's quality of some kind is questionable, I I'm sorry, but I really hope that it's not because your girl is trying to go the extra mile for quality content now. I have been doing this makeup look that's basically like the Instagram freckle filter look, but in real life. And it's such a, like, it's such a non-tutorial because it literally just uses this, which is a um, makeup product intended for that faux freckle look. So. I thought that instead of me walking you through this very non-tutorial, I would just chat. I'm not gonna go through any of like the specific products that I'm using, um, except for this freckle piece when it's time to actually put on the freckles because I feel like I've learned a few tips and tricks about this one. It gets a little bit messy. Um, but besides that, I'll just have like B-roll and images and other visual accoutrements, visual cues to basically inform you what I'm using. And then there'll be links to everything down below, as well as timestamps in case you are curious. So I have not been particularly active on YouTube just because I have been so busy. Work has been incredibly busy, um, but in a good way because I love my job, like the job that I have, my regular nine to five. I'm not a content creator full time anymore. I'm sure I looked like absolutely horrified while that was being sprayed on my face. But yeah, it's very creatively rewarding and I get to do a lot of things that I love. Um, but at the same time, it's like very challenging um, and very, I guess like I didn't expect how hard it would be to like be a real adult, you know? Cause like we hear all these um, adults complain about adult things like, oh my God, I hate paying taxes and like a bunch of other adult shit like that. Turns out there's more to being an adult than paying taxes. There's a lot of things like navigating your personal identity outside of school, which I know a lot of students, especially ones that have cultivated their entire personality upon um, their education, like me. Um, it's hard to train yourself out of that. And once you're out of school, you're like, uh, so like what, what's next, what's else? And then, you know, that period of time where you're temporarily unemployed because you graduated into a pandemic and you don't know what you're supposed to do with your life um, and you don't know what it's supposed to, like what being a real adult really means because you can't do the adult things like go out to dinner with friends and meet people in the office and do all these other things. So it was definitely a challenge within the past year to like figure out how to do adult things. I think that graduating into a pandemic really like presents its own set of challenges and trying to adjust to this new corporate life. And um, it's hard and it's lonely and it's isolating, especially because a lot of my friends are still in school. They're either, um, you know, finishing up undergrad or going into grad school. So the shared experiences that I have with them now tend to be less and less a part of the same hemisphere of a Venn diagram. It's, it's life, it happens. You know, talking about like my own personal becoming a real working woman experience, I feel like one of the hardest parts for me was that I didn't study something that was, you know, directly applicable to the job that I currently have. So finding that first, um, employer was quite a challenge. It took like nine months, I think, since I graduated. In case you're new, here's a little context. I studied applied physics, um, specifically physical electronics, which is like um, the science behind, or the physics behind electrical engineering. And right now I do marketing at a startup. So very different things. I feel like what I have learned coursework wise just was not applicable to my day-to-day -day responsibilities at work at all. And it's really hard because all of my friends were in STEM. So what they were doing at work, it was like, oh, I learned this in school. Oh, I can just read up on this. I can like refer to a textbook. Um, whereas marketing, there are things that you can learn like SWOT analysis and 
um, procedures, but a lot of it, especially because of the company that I work at, it's all a very new space. So marketing that is quite challenging. And then, I don't know, I just, I feel like I had a huge bout of imposter syndrome, have like the coolest job. I'm working with like the coolest people. I get to build these really beautiful, cool things. Um, am I the right person for that job? I don't have a formal degree. I don't have real work experience, like in the context of corporate life. So like that was also a struggle because my first few projects at work have really wrapped up and my employer is just like really great. And I've had a lot of these conversations about like not being sure about whether or not I'm doing is the right thing. There's no one right way to do things and everyone's process is a little different. It's just a matter of developing that process and like trusting your gut and knowing when you feel out of your wheelhouse and working with others and asking them for help. So that has been a very, I feel like I've grown a lot, especially within the past, I, I think almost six months I've been at this new job, but it's been really great. I really love it. But because I spend so much time at work um, and I'm just so busy and it takes a lot of my energy, I just have not had the time to really sit down and record a YouTube video and um, edit it and then upload it on the internet. So I'm really sorry that I've just been so MIA, but I've been posting a ton on Instagram. Not necessarily because I prefer the platform or anything. It's just really convenient. And I've been really into photography lately. And because I work with a lot of really cool creatives at work, I feel like that has really informed the way that I take photos and the way that I create. So the past month was really just a lot of experimentation. I filmed so much and took so many photos, um, but majority of what I created just didn't ever end up making it out there on the internet because I realized that they were experimental works for me to see how I could grow. And it's been really amazing creatively and I hope that it reflects in the quality of the content. I hope that this video looks and sounds and feels much more polished and nicer. Uh, just because like I've learned so much about creating and creating to your own sense of style and your own natural disposition to certain characteristics visually than trying to fall into an aesthetic, which is what I feel like I was doing previously. Like I knew in my gut what I wanted my stuff to look like creatively. I worried it wasn't trendy, I worried it wasn't cool, and I worried that it wasn't good. So I try I feel like I relied a, a lot on basically just like trying similar looks from other people, but I think that this aesthetic is my aesthetic, something that like my creative eye is naturally drawn towards. So yeah, I feel like I've just grown a lot both as a person um, and as a creative and really figured out like my likes and dislikes, both again, as a person and as a visual artist. That's been, that's been my life lately. Work has been really great. And yeah, like that's literally all I have going on in my life because uh, my friends haven't moved out to LA in full yet. The pandemic still rages on, so I try to avoid going outside as much as possible, although I have gone to a few cafes and it has been absolutely lovely. Yeah, I've just been staying at home, working that nine to five life, participating in capitalism. That's it. I produce a lot of content at home. So everything that has been posted on my Instagram for the past few, um, weeks have just been my content that I take at home by myself because I don't have any local creative friends, unfortunately. Everyone's at, away at school. We're busy, which is fair, or just not available when I am. I really miss the collaboration of working together in a creative environment. I just miss being around. I'm thirsty for human interaction, essentially. Not thirsty enough to really act upon it, I guess. I try to do some gentle socializing. And that week I was just hanging out with people basically every day. Granted, it was still like a one-on-one -on -one small group setting, coffee shop or in my apartment. And I was like, wow, I do not have the stamina for this. And I'm that friend that 
always last minute cancels because I'm just a dickhead. I told myself when the pandemic is over, we're not gonna be that anymore. I'm going to start saying yes to social events and like going out and hanging out with people and doing things. No, uh, this pandemic has made me more introverted than I thought, but I think that I was thirsty for the idea of human interaction and not actually human interaction itself. It's also different because I live with my boyfriend um, and occupying a space, like a physical space with someone. I'm still seeing another person every single day for basically 24 hours a day. Um, and that's still a lot. That's plenty of human interaction for me. I wanna know how you've been. Um, I'm sure that your life has also been poppin'. And you know what, even if it's not like poppin' in a really exciting way, like common, boring and relaxing, like that's fun. That's great. That is also the dream life. Um, I don't want drama. That makes me sound like someone that like, I don't want drama, but like actually goes out to seek drama. No, like I want calm, boring routines every single day of my life until I die. And then like, I guess like controlled additions of spontaneity, going to the beach at 6 a.m. or something like that. Like that's enough, that's enough for me. It's enough crazy for one, one day, for one lifetime. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this color on my eyelids. It kind of makes me look like I have pink eye. I'm like looking at the viewfinder to see if you can even see it. That's... Yeah, oh well, I guess we have like the gentle pink eye look today. I've been going to the gym a lot recently. My friend has moved down to LA for grad school and she lives like a block away from me. We tried to go to the gym uh, while we were in Davis together and it just like didn't work out. Both of us were lazy and bad at keeping plans and we were both like, oh, it's it's okay, like we can meet tomorrow. And then we just like, we wouldn't meet and we'd always cancel last minute. But you know what, new city, new us. Um, we've been going to the gym every day at six freaking 30, guys. Like that's, fu that's fucking nuts. I don't know how I turned into this person that goes to say, like I'm, I feel like I'm the physical manifestation of like that girl lifestyle in the mornings. Like she wakes up at 6.30 a.m. Um, and works out and shit, like that's fucking nuts. But yeah, I've been really enjoying it. I've been using this app called Sweat, which was recommended to me to, by my friend Alexandra and Alexandra is like jacked as fuck. She is so fit. I try to go to some workout classes because there was like a free class pass promo, but then I used it on a massage because I am, um, you know, that's a form of self care and body wellness. So I used it on a massage and then I ran out of credits to like actually use it on a workout routine and we have an apartment gym. And I should not be responsible for my own workout routine because I will do like three minutes on the treadmill walking and then, um, I don't know, like 15 Russian twists. And you're like, oh, that was such a strenuous workout. So I asked her for recommendations for a routine and she's like, oh, I used to sweat app for years. Um, and it's kind of like the Nike Fitness Club. I think that's what it's called. Nike Training Club. It's similar to Nike Training Club. There is very little cardio involved in my workout routine right now, just because like I have lost a lot of weight. I'm trying not to lose more weight in the meantime. Um, but yeah, it's been really fun. I really like the routine that I've built and I feel like I am getting a lot stronger. Granted, it's only been like a week, but that's been one corner of my life or like one um, constance, constant bit of routine in my life that I've been really enjoying. Um, I get to watch the sunrise, which is nuts. And my like view out of my apartment is like fucking awesome. So yeah, loving my mornings. And it's like some girl time at the gym. Also, no one's there at the gym at 6 a.m., which is an added bonus. Cause I hate working out when there's other people, not because I'm worried that they're working or that they're looking at me. It's just like, there's just so much people in one space. I don't want to catch Miss Rona, the Delta variant supposed to be a bitch and a half. And like, I'm still masking up everywhere that I go. Um, so yeah, just trying to stay mindful and not catch Miss Rona because like, I, I hate being sick. 
I have a feeling I'm gonna look back at this footage and just be like, you're just sitting and rambling and none of this is making sense and I'm gonna have to figure out some way to string this into a narrative that is sensical. Fingers crossed that I can. I keep looking at myself in this like massive monitor. I've essentially attached my camera's output to this 27 inch monitor that I have sitting behind me. Amazing. Uh, should have done it so long ago because now I'm no longer looking at like the tiny little screen that flips out of my camera. Oh shit. So I feel like I can have a lot more, I can be more mindful of the footage that I capture and at least know when I'm in frame. Anyways, now it's time for the freckle part. So I'm using this thing from Pseudo Labs. This is not sponsored. This is just unsolicited simping for a really cool product. Um, it comes in three, four different shades that I think, but it's essentially like a very liquid fluid in various shades of brown. Um, and you use this toothpick-like device and there's a brush and then you flick it on your face and tap it in and then voila, instant freckles. The one downside, it is very messy. Um, so I typically do it in my bathroom, but this gets everywhere. So I've been trying to get more controlled at doing it. I don't know if I have. So this may be risky. It may be staining my rug. This rug also is from Ikea and it sheds like a motherfucker, like so badly. Um, super annoying, actually, to the point where I would actively say avoid it because it's been leaving dust bunnies all over my apartment. And it's so dusty that every once in a while I'll like inhale and I'll choke on a dust particle. That's fucking gross. Okay, here we go. So you do this and you just... So I like to do a first pass all over my face and then a second pass and like the places people typically get freckles and then you take the leftovers on this little scraper tool and just dot in. Like the fluid, the freckle fluid has gotten all over my hands. But yeah, it's pretty messy but I really love the look and it's kind of waterproof. Water resistant faux freckles. For how long? I have no idea. This is, this is my makeup look, my freckle makeup look, which I really did not provide any education on how to achieve it, except for the freckle part. Um, it's fun for the summer. Oh, one last thing that I actually do do. I feel like I have a very gentle brand of chaos. It's like definitely chaotic because I am a naturally chaotic individual, but it's done in like a boring monotone, deep voiced way. Um, this is a mini Urban Decay All Nighter makeup setting spray. And I use this over the freckles to help really lock them in. Because I'm a sweaty gal and I find that without this, it, they just fade. Especially when wearing a mask and you can't really powder um, the freckles down. Um, I was gonna wear something really thotty and cute, but I haven't shaved my armpits in like a week and a half and I'm about to wax them tonight. Um, and I'm just in the mood to be super casual. It's a lazy Friday. No more meetings today, like keeping it cash. Um, anyway, I'm done rambling. Hope you are also having a really wonderful afternoon. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Annyeong.